It is the 19th of the 7th, 2011, and welcome to the Fallout Report. Today we're going to start with energy news, and we got a report 1.68 sieverts uh, per hour detected in Canadian rain water samples. Geiger counter read displays dangerous radiation background. Uh, government colossal blunder. It was beyond our expectations that straw would become the source of radioactive contamination. Are you kidding me? And this is out of Fukushima, Japan, of course. A report air sample in Tokyo, 270 times more contaminated with cesium-137 than global weapons fallout peak back in the 60s. When they stopped doing testing, it was so bad. We got a whistleblower out of Los Alamos. Groundwater monitoring methods are hiding detection of contamination. And you got to remember, there's plutonium all over the place in the Los Alamos area. Along with everything else, of course, that they've been doing secret, secret for so long. Official radioactive materials around Los Alamos may get redistribu redistributed at measurable levels, sometimes that will manifest itself as health advisories. Governments allow cows to admit up to 100,000 CPM of radioactivities. Humans would be required to undergo full body decontamination at those levels. You got to remember, this is the, the beef that they're serving you in uh, what's now safe Japan. Please come visit, according to their tourist agency agencies. Tokyo government finds iodine-131 levels up to quadruple cesium levels in water reclamation centers. Now this is the the water sanitation plants. So these people are contaminated. Their feces and urine are radioactive. Difference between Los Alamos fire and other wildfires can be summed up in a single word. Radiation. More firefighters on the way to battle a blaze. And again, these fires are going on all over the world. Uh, some pretty extreme fires going on. TEPCO rushing to shield reactor number three turbine building for Typhoon. The Navy storm may pass over Fukushima plant on July 21st. Uh, that's just two days away. Um, like they got this Mayon Typhoon trajectory all kind of weirdo. They, they're telling us that's going to shoot straight out and and uh, around the Fukushima area miraculously. Uh, seeing will be believing when it comes to that typhoon. Japan TEPCO to admit that treating Fukushima's highly radioactive water will take up to three years. What a joke that is. Removing fuel from Fukushima numbers three and four reactors to be given high priority. Duh, well that's the MOX plutonium fuel. And, of course, uh, the Japanese women won their soccer match. Over to the JAIF. The NRC to compile nuclear safety overhaul in 90 days. Well, let's start at the beginning here. There it is. Government to define cold shutdown. The second stage targeted to bring the nuclear disaster under control will involve achieving a cold shutdown under which the disabled reactors are to be cooled down to 100 degrees Celsius or lower. The Japanese government is due to make this clear on Tuesday releasing a revised plan to contain the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Uh, the government has so far failed to specify what a cold shutdown entails. It now plans to define the term bringing the reactor bottom temperatures to about 100 degrees or lower and substantially reducing the public's radiation exposure by controlling the release of radioactivity. No kidding. Achieving a cold shutdown has been cited as one of the conditions for lifting the 20 kilometer no entry zone around Fukushima Daiichi plant. They're planning to let the people back already. <laughs> this 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 just goes to show you. Here, let me focus that out a little bit so we can read it. How's that? This just goes to show you just how crazy the government has gotten, the Japanese government. And uh, so you don't forget, GE owns these reactors. 
radioactive water in Fukushima poses challenge. Now, the Japanese government of Tokyo Electric Power Company will announce on Tuesday a revised plan to bring the reactors of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant under control. They are expected to say that the first stage of the plan has almost been completed on schedule. But as a system to decontaminate radioactive water which began operating at the end of last month is working below the target's capacity due to leaks and other problems. Yeah, like three core breaches and it's in the groundwater? Uh, that would prevent that, I would think. Just look at all this horse shit coming out of here. TEPCO covers turbine building as storm approaches. Uh, TEPCO has built a makeshift roof over a turbine building at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant as Typhoon Mayon approaches. <laughs> TEPCO started to work to cover a hole in the roof in the number three turbine building on Monday morning. The hole was caused by a hydrogen explosion in a neighboring reactor building in March. In a neighboring reactor building in March? Give me a break, the hole number three blew its top off. It was like the biggest explosion in the Again, look at this half-assed. The NRC to compile nuclear safety overhaul in 90 days. The top U.S. nuclear chief says his agency will come up with directions on regulatory changes for safety at the U.S. nuclear power plants within 90 days. Uh, the chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission says the NRC will quickly evaluate what kind of overhaul is needed at plants based on results of a report by its task force. And again, this is all hype bull crap. More beef cattle fed irradiated straw. Fukushima and Nagata Prefecture have identified more farms that have shipped beef cattle and has been fed straw containing radioactive cesium in the amounts the government above the government standard, above the raised standard. Uh, Fukushima Prefecture said seven farms and six municipalities for their cattle straw left outdoors after the March nuclear accident in the prefecture. The straw was found to contaminate radioactive cesium in the amounts up to 520 times the standard. <sighs> and of course they shipped the cows out to slaughter. They hit the markets and uh, now the government says it's okay for them to be contaminated up to uh, what was it? 100,000 CPMs of radioactivity and that's okay for it to uh, just insane. Um, this is about all I can find. There are several channels out covering the Fukushima crisis along with other nuclear activities. Uh, if I find anything I will go ahead and put it on these reports instead of my climate change because it just seems like things are just getting out of hand. Um, juggling both back and forth so uh, definitely enjoy what you can and uh, look for these reports not every day but as I find them enjoy it